Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. The Rock and Review is so happy to catch up with an incredible singer, songwriter, and actress, Sarah Jane Nelson. Sarah Jane, thanks for coming on The Rock and Review. Well, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. I love the show, so I'm really honored. Well, you know, it's uh, it's been fun keeping up with all of your music. I mean, you keep releasing albums like the one you did last year, but now you've got a brand new song and a brand new video, and it's fairly timely with Smile Pretty coming out this month in April. That's right. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and I, uh, you know, I was thinking about writing this song for a long time, uh, but uh, there were some things that happened in the media where women were coming forward with stories of things they'd experienced. And, um, and I heard a lot of criticism for women who had taken a long time to, to come out and share what had happened to them. Right. And people would say, well, if they never told for 20 years, like, how could it be true? You know, and I had uh, something happened to me. I've had a few different things, but I had a very significant thing happen to me in my early 20s. And when I kept hearing that, I thought, my gosh, I never told anybody. I never told my mom. I never told my friends. And um, I was at the Kerrville Folk Festival um, and I was a new folk finalist and I was doing their song school and I and I got inspired and I thought, you know, I'm going to write about this. And I got up the next morning at 5 a.m. and I wrote this song and it was like a really it was a hard song to write, but it was so therapeutic. And, and since I've written it, I've played it for a lot of people. And the first thing that happens is they start sharing their experiences. Wow. And so my hope with this song is that it'll just encourage someone to just speak up and, and to, um, you know, just share their experience and, and there's healing in that. And so uh, and it kind of snowballed. And now the video is uh, all the women I cast in the video are survivors of sexual assault. How and, amazing. It's a great video. They're amazing women and, and their stories. Oh, my gosh. You know, they're so hard to hear. But I right. mean, they're just regular people. It's it's a regular moms and teens and people and, and you know, veterans, uh, military um, people that have had these things happen. And it's really hard to speak out about it. So. Yeah. I hope that putting, you know, I'm putting it out there and it's very vulnerable for me, mm -hmm. but I just figured, you know, I'm, I'm a songwriter and I'm not going to be afraid. And if I hadn't told, there's probably a lot of women out there that hadn't told what they've experienced. And right. so hopefully it will be healing for people. I think it will be. I think when you come from that depth, when you're doing your song, when you're writing the lyrics and everything else, and, and it seems to me, you know, in the past too, you, you're kind of mining that much more, you know, and, and certainly coming from, you know, being in musical theater, you know, so young and obviously being on TV with the district in Nashville and everything. But it, it, it seems like with your songs, you're kind of going deeper, you know, with your heart and with your own personal, uh, you know, things that have happened to you and sharing them. Yeah. And that's a huge shift that took me a minute. Like my first record is more like a cabaret CD <laughs> and it's like, it's got some musical theater, which I love music. I mean, I'm a musical theater nerd at heart, you know, <laughs> but I'm also a Arkansas bluegrass country girl raised in Louisiana. I love the blues. Like I, I, ha I have a lot of influences in my music. And um, so it took me a second. It took me a couple records actually to figure out who I am, just right. Sarah Jane Nelson, because I realized that for so long I was playing a, a character, which I love to do. Um, but man, it's it's a shift when suddenly you're not playing a character anymore. And <laughs> and and not all my songs are a hundred percent autobiographical. Mm -hmm. Um I love storytelling. I mean, that's why I love country and folk and, oh, you know, yeah. that kind of music is so inspiring to me. And just that, like, tell it like it is storytelling. Mm -hmm. And um, so, like, the more I've just given to, like, I'm a songwriter and this is what I do. And I'm like, I'm telling my stories. I'm telling other people's stories. And and I, and I've seen like through that process, like people are relating to my music, and mm -hmm. and and so I feel like in a way when I share my stories, I'm sharing theirs, and they're right. resonating with what I'm telling. So it that has just encouraged me to be more and more 
vulnerable in what I'm writing. And I, I think that makes the music better because I think it comes from a more honest point. I wanted to bring up with you know, with the releases this year, Sarah Jane, to where you're going to be doing like a song release per month that will okay. lead up to Shelby Park, the album coming out in 2022. So on this album, you know, you really got to find your voice more, not only musically and lyrically, but also as a producer and having your, your other producer, Jamie, on this. Yes, it, it's been quite a journey. You know, when when you do theater and you're like a music, you're, you're a musical theater person for years, I'm just used to singing what I'm given. And mm -hmm. I'm used to, I don't even think about the production um, because it's just all, it's all there and I don't have any options. And so through the last couple of records, I've really found my voice as as a as an artist and also producer and i'm really proud of the journey that i've had um but yeah it's it's been an amazing process and and i will say this this album was a, was a roller coaster to to get it out i i kind of say like when you make a record it's like kind of have, similar to having a pregnancy because you like have this pregnancy you have this expectation you you're you're going through the struggles of creating it. And right. then at the end, you're so ready to birth that you just can't even stand it. And I'm I'm so ready for, I, I've gone through the hard hardships and I'm ready for this album to just launch. And, and I'm really proud of it. Well, and I think it's gonna be worth the wait. And I was gonna bring up too, you touched on it with musical theater that, you know, at, at 17, you moved to New York to pursue that. That's that's a bold move for a 17 year old, you know, particularly coming up, you know, through your musical background and, and the bluegrass festivals with your family and all. But 17 in New York City, that's kind of wow, Sarah Jane. Yeah, I mean, I think back now and I can't really believe I did that because, you know, I have kids and I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's insanity. But I had this strong feeling that. I might be able to make it and, and get on Broadway, but I also had an interest. I was very academic and I skipped 10th grade in high school. And I, I really, you know, I did excel in school and I thought, well, maybe I'll be a lawyer and, um, or maybe I'll be a broadcast journalist. And, you know, cause I love the news and journalism and history. So yeah. I, I thought, you know, I could always go back to those things. I'm gonna mm -hmm. give it one year. And I'm going to see what I can do in New York City. And my parents miraculously supported me in that. Wow. And by the end of that year, I was in all the actors unions. I had an agent. And, you know, I was one of those people. I was 17. I could have gone wild. But I actually, I was getting up at 3.30 in the morning to go get in line for a, you know, an open call. I was hustling. I was putting out my resume and and, you know, just... Like I was determined. And mm -hmm. so that, that I think that is a big piece of it is that I was able to to stay really focused. It's going to be so great to see, you know, with as the singles release, obviously with Smile Pretty coming out right now and, and the video out. But, you know, to see the progression of the songs until you finally release the full album, Shelby Park. But I want to make sure for our viewers, too, you've always got so many great things going on. Sarah Jane, I want to make sure that they can keep up with you. Where should they go for your website, for social media, so they know about the releases, the videos, and your performances? Well, the best place to go is sarahjanenelson.com. And um, that's a website where you can sign up for my email list. And when you sign up, you get a five-song storyteller series, which gives you songs from the new records. It gives you sneak peeks. And it also um, will tell you the story behind the song. So I'm just really passionate about, you know, sharing more of the story behind the song because that's what I like when I listen to music. I like to know the context and to know the inspiration. And so that's what a lot of people have been really responding well to that at sarahjanenelson.com. And I want to say one other thing. You said that that was a, a crazy big dream to like go to New York at 17. Yeah. And I will say that I feel like I'm on a similar track at this point in my life, because for me, you know, I'm a mom, I'm living in Nashville, I'm, I'm not 22 years old, but I'm 
having the audacity to say, I've got something to say. I've got music. I don't have a big record deal. I don't have a team around me, but what I have is songs and, and I have something that I want to share. And I have a dream. My next dream is to play on the Grand Ole Opry stage. I think that's doable. That's my next one. So I'm just saying it out loud. And, you know, and when people people say, oh, that's that's a big one. And I'm like, yeah, I've had crazy dreams before and I've seen them happen. And so I'm just I'm just going to keep going forward and just being truthful in my art and hope that maybe I'll get that shot someday. I think you will. I'll tell you, your voice sounds so incredible. And I know a lot of that comes from the strength of doing, you know, musical theater in the past, but also with your influences and with the music you love doing your own songs and, and the lyrics, the depth of the lyrics, uh, your voice just shines through on these new songs. And I, I, think it's, I think it's your best work yet. So can't wait to hear more. And, you know, I wanna make sure that our, vi our viewers find, you know, Smile Pretty and they, uh, you know, the new song, the new video, and they keep up with you on the website and social media for the big album release Yay. a few months down the road. But uh, Sarah Jane, thank you so much for coming on the Rock Interview. And hopefully we get to see you on the Opry in the near future. Oh, I hope so. I'll see you there. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show.